Okay, I have to be very, very quiet. It's one, like two o'clock in the morning, so I gotta tell you about this. <laughs> I went to Florida, and uh, my rental car, as you can see, was a brand new Corvette, which was a ton of fun. There's a bunch of videos coming I, I took uh, the whole time. So I'm in Florida, I mean, it's just hotter than hell. Humid, oh my God. Let me tell you about my planes, trains, automobiles, shuttle bus. Oh God. I put on about probably a thousand miles in the car, went to see my mother on the West Coast, hung out with a uh, father on the East Coast, went to uh, Bass FCZ Zerse's lair and uh, hung out with him for a few hours. We had a nice chat. It was a good time. Well, anyway, so I had to come back today. So I'm at my mother's house in around Tampa Bay and the airport's in Orlando. So I have to go back. And so I drove back to the old man's house and then he's about eh, 45 minutes away from the airport. So, okay, cool. So I've got the Corvette and, you know, it's like, holy, it was great. So I figure, well, I'll get there about 2, 2 o'clock or so, 2.30. You know, I just, I had a feeling something was going to happen. See, because Orlando, the traffic is absolutely unbelievable. No, it's not quite as bad as Austin, Texas, but it's uh, it's pretty rough. You got Mouse World there, you got Mickey, you know, you got uh, what uh, whatever studio place that are Universal Studios. You got all the theme parks, you got all that stuff. So there, there's a lot of people down there. So I didn't have time to stop and get anything to eat for lunch, and I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna get me a couple slices of pizza, the Familia or Familia Pizza over in uh, the terminal. Get a couple slices of that, hang out, you know, for a couple hours, get on the plane, get home, you know, at a reasonable hour. And then, uh, you know, blast over to Walmart, get get some food for later. No, 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 no. Oh, uh, no, we, we, we can't have that because that would be too easy. So it turns out, so I get to the thing, you know, security is great. Fantastic in Orlando. I mean, you're, boom, you're, go, you're, you're through in about five, seven minutes. I mean, it's really quick. So I get through security, throw the shoes back on and the belt get everything settled and get on a little trolley car. There's a little train that goes from the main terminal to, I think it was terminal A this time. I don't remember, right? One of them anyway. So I get over there and all of us get off the train and we're going, what's, what's burning? It smelled like, you know, something was burning. It's like, well, what the hell's going on? Didn't know what that was. Could have been the train brakes, right? Who knows? So we get out, we get into the main terminal. We look over, there's like 20 firemen. Over in the food court, turns out someone decided to <laughs> accidentally light a fire at the Burger King there. There's a pizza place. There's a Burger King. There's a like a cold, uh, cold stream creamery or cold something or other and some other place. And so guess what? The food court was closed. So here's a little hamster. <laughs> you know, It's not like I'm going to, uh, you know, if I miss a meal, I'm not going to, you know, uh, fade away. But traveling and all the stress and being with the parents... That video is coming up shortly. My stomach was just killing me the whole freaking weekend, right? So I got to get something in the gut. So I found some coffee place, got some pretzels and whatever. It's only like three hours and then I'm going to get home back here in Denver. I can go get a, you know, a burger, get some wings at Hooters or something, right? No, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. To top off all the stress with the parents, it turns out we had a bit of weather in Orlando and oddly in Chicago. And if you have weather in Chicago and you're flying anywhere over the Midwest, you're delayed because Chicago basically controls the, the central part of the United States, the air traffic. So we're delayed. And it says we're supposed to board the plane at 520 and take off at 625. Well, they kept that on the screen until about 624. They said, oh yeah, you know, by the way, uh, we're going to have to delay you a little bit because, you know, we're having the weather stuff. So we're going to, you know, take off at, at like 7.30, 7.35 or whatever. It's like, okay, all right, fine. So, you know, I went and walked around and took some videos, whatever. Come back in a little while. It's about 7.34. Oh, we're sorry. Your flight has been delayed until 8.35. Now, keep in mind, I, I, I was up yesterday, well, I guess, yeah, yesterday morning, 3.30. So it's currently almost two o'clock. So it's almost been 24 hours, right? So needless to say, I was getting a little bit crabby in the airport. We finally get on the aircraft. So we get on the plane, beautiful flight. It was an Airbus three, uh, 321 or 220, whatever. Beautiful, yeah, wonderful flight. And uh, I'm stewing in my own juices. I'm like, fuck, when am I going to get home? And he assured us, the pilot, 315, right? Three hours, 15 minutes, we'll be in Denver. Well, he's not lying, 
But what he means is wheels up to wheels down on the runways 315. He doesn't talk about the other stuff, like getting to, you know, a, a, a gate. So he sat on the tarmac for maybe 45 minutes until the gate was free. And then we finally got to the gate. And at this time, it's what the hell time was it? Um, you know, 11.15. I don't know. It was getting late. So it's time to go collect the baggage. And of course, by this time, my back teeth are floating. I need to take a whiz like crazy. So I, I went and took care of that. Went down to the baggage thing. My father lent me a freaking suitcase. I'd never seen this suitcase before. And so the thing is going around and around. It's like, oh, is this the suitcase? No, no. My name's not on. Is this the it was probably one of the first ones out there, and it's like, I didn't even recognize it. So finally, it's like, it's small. That's got to be it. And it was. So I got all that shit together. Then we got on the shuttle bus over to uh, Mount Elbert parking area. And of course, my stop was the sixth stop. And the bus was, it was standing room only, right? There's all these people in there. And it's 1230 at night, and everybody is like, not happy. Finally get to the car. It's about 1230, and I finally arrive at the lair at about 1.40. I'm just going to get a slice of pizza, you know, get on the plane and be home. No. Burger King's on fire. Fire department is there. Somebody said the previous plane that we were supposed to get on, they had to tow away because of some mechanical problem. Uh, so it was just one hell of a day. Planes, trains, automobiles, shuttle buses. James Maxwell, thank you for listening.